Distance between point and the line in two dimension. Example 4. Distance from point Q, 3 minus 2, to the line R equals to minus 3 minus 7 plus T times 1 over 5, 1 over 6. So we have a vector equation here, right? And we need to find the shortest distance. We are using our same point Q, right? To explain you how we are trying to do it, so that's the policy which I explained you in the first three examples also. So when we are given an equation of a line, assume like this. This is our line, right? And we'll consider the point P and Q. P in this case is the point given to us. Let's say this is my point P, right? And the point given to us here is minus 3, minus 7. And Q is the point from where we need to find the distance. And let's assume that this point Q is somewhere here. Okay, so let's say this point is here, Q. So this point Q for us is 3 and minus 2, correct? The shortest distance for us is what? Not PQ, right? The shortest distance is the one which is perpendicular to the line. That is the shortest distance. And we are interested in finding this distance and we call this distance as D, right? You will see that this distance is normal to the line. Is it okay? It is normal to the line. And therefore, we always find projection to the line. Which you can see, if this is my segment PQ, then what is distance D? This is 90 degrees, right? It is PQ cos theta. If this is theta, right? It is PQ cos theta, correct? PQ cos theta, and this is normal direction N, will be actually pq dot unit vector n, correct? So that is what our formula is. So let me write down the formula here for you. So the distance which we are looking forward is actually pq dot n divided by the magnitude of n, correct? So that gives us the distance d, right? So from here equation, we already know what the direction is m is equals to 1 over 5 comma 1 over 6 that's m what should be the normal so normal should be we will interchange the position that's the best way to find and make one of them negative let's make this negative that becomes normal of this you can check how if you do dot product of these two you will get zero that's the check right now, what is PQ? P to Q, right? PQ for us is point P is minus 3 and 7 and, uh, and the Q point is 3 and minus 2, correct? So, PQ will be 3 minus minus 3, which is 6 and minus 2 minus of minus 7, which will be 5. So PQ for us is 6 and 5 and therefore distance is equal to between them 6, 5 is for PQ, right? So I have to write 6, right? Let me write again, right? 6, comma 5, oh my god. Okay, let me write again. Let's redo with a different ink. Correct. So let's redo it, right? So distance D is equal to PQ is 6, 5, 6, 5 dot normal. Normal is 1 over 6 comma minus 1 over 5, correct? Divided by 1 over 6 square plus 1 over 5 square, okay? The minus becomes positive. So I'm not writing that for the moon. I can write like this also. Is it okay? So this is what our normal is, correct? And now from here, we know this is equal to absolute value of 6 times 1 over 6 is 1 and 5 times minus 1 is minus 1 divided by square root of 1 over 36 plus 1 over 25. Well, 1 minus 1 is 0. 
so we get zero it seems that the point is on the line do you understand so the point lies on the line and we get distance of zero so that's interesting a point given to you may be on the line correct that's how we do it thank you